Chapter 8, Learning Objective 1. Describe how the cost of property, plant, and equipment, also known as PPE, is determined, and calculate PPE. Property, plant, and equipment are tangible assets with a life greater than one year, such as land, buildings, machinery, equipment, and vehicles. They're classified as non-current or long-term assets. And these are assets that contribute directly or indirectly towards generating revenue on an ongoing basis. And they're not normally intended for resale. Purchasing PPE are examples of capital expenditures compared to revenue expenditures that have no future benefit beyond one year. Immaterial capital costs will also be expense for expediency and materiality reasons, since depreciation of capitalized assets is time-consuming and expensive. A firm's capitalization policy can help the classification process. For example, capital expenditures that are greater than $1,000 are to be capitalized and anything less will be expensed. Capital expenditures may include the cost to acquire an asset, such as the purchase price, any fees, commissions, and transportation costs, and also include any cost to prepare an asset for use. For example, for land, that might include clearing and demolition of an old building, landscaping, and sewage. For building equipment, this could include any cost to quit a lease, any renovations, installation, foundation, wiring, inspection, and testing. Maintenance and repair costs of capitalized assets are revenue expenditures. Capital expenditures must also meet all three criteria to be capitalized. Otherwise, it has to be expensed. These criteria include benefits to more than one accounting period, that they enhance the service potential and make the item more valuable or adaptable, and that they have a material dollar value. Multiple assets purchased for a lump sum are proportioned between the assets on the basis of their market values. For example, if land and building are purchased for $150,000 and the land is appraised at 25% of the purchase price, then of that total purchase price, $37,500 will be allocated to the land. The remaining 75% will be allocated to the building. The journal entry to record the acquisition then will include a debit to land of $37,500 and a debit to building of $112,500, along with a credit to cash for the purchase price of $150,000. Some companies will also construct their own building or equipment and incur the following types of costs that might include excavation, permits, insurance, property taxes during construction, engineering fees, on-site labor costs of company employees, and any interest incurred for construction financing. Each asset is recorded in a PPE subledger with information about purchase date, cost, residual value, estimated useful life, and depreciation method.